Greetings, I'm Epictetus and this is Epic Tech. We are back and we're gonna play around with our new toys. Not to mention do some other stuff. We've got a few different wrecks around to explore. And I'm thinking that we're gonna take our brand new sub and our cosmic prawn and we're gonna go check those out. What do you say? Really quickly before I go, I don't want you to miss any part of the story. And normally between episodes, I'll do a little bit here and there, but I avoid anything that's even remotely story related. I just gather, build, and that kind of things. But one thing that did happen, I was edging up on a new biome. I didn't even realize I was near a new biome, and this happened. This ecological biome matches seven of the nine preconditions for stimulating terror in humans. So, I naturally turned around and went the opposite direction, but I think we're probably going to end up back there today Welcome sometime. Aboard, Captain. Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. So let me show you what I've done in here. First of all, I saw, I saw a few different comments about batteries versus power cells and that kind of thing, so let me clear up a few things. I put a battery charger down here because I have all my tools in these storage containers here, and I thought it'd be a good place to store them. Uh, these will actually charge from the power cells that are on board this sub. Putting a power cell charger anywhere on board will not work. Apparently there was a bug during, before, back in the day kind of thing, and it actually would recharge power cells and not use the power in the power cells, which would be absolutely ridiculous, so they fixed that, and that's no longer a thing. So I'm not going to charge power cells here, but batteries are perfectly fine. By the way, these are all 100% charged. I have put in a few upgrades. Let's take a quick look at those. Uh, the, Cyclops the Cyclops engine efficiency module uh, I found back at the wreck of the Aurora and it increases the engine efficiency by three times. So I guess one third of the energy use, something like that. The Cyclops docking bay repair module repairs whatever's docked to the sub. The Cyclops decoy tube upgrade gives more room for uh, decoys that you can fire and distract the Leviathans and things. And then I went ahead, the, the Cyclops depth module mark one was pretty cheap, so I built it and chucked it in there. Let's go to the other side here, and these should be all pretty close to 100%, yes. Uh, also, I did some testing with a friend of mine. We were just goofing around, and he played all the way through the beta and all that kind of stuff, so he knows a lot about what's going on. He's been good to not give me spoilers, but give me hints. And we did some testing. The inside and outside lights do not use any power. So I can leave those on all day long. I do turn off the out... No, wait. I do turn off the outdoor lights at times, just... I don't know why, but they don't seem to use any power. And if they do, they're using such a tiny amount, it's not a big deal. Uh, as for food, I put a lantern fruit tree here, and I put a uh, marble melon planter back there. I figure that should be enough for the most part. And then I also have more downstairs. Uh, down here. Uh, let's see, I think it's this one. No, that's water. And food, so. We're doing just fine on food and water. This one's completely empty. This one's got some basic items in it. I don't, I keep my radiation helmet just in case, but we don't really need it anymore. And then I keep my extra tanks. By the way, I had, there were some people talking in the comments about how having a second tank is completely useless, but it's not. You wanna see? You want some proof? <laughs> I'll show you. So, right now, I have 132 oxygen. Now, this tank right here has 81 seconds of oxygen in it, and I'm using it up. If I take this tank off, I have 45 seconds in my lungs, basically, and if I put this back, I add the 75 seconds that are in the tank. 
if I remove this and switch it out, it uses this, the oxygen in this tank. And so I can sit here until this tank is completely gone. And then take this out and put this one in. And then take that out and I've still got 39 seconds. Pretty cool, huh? So I could fill my inventory with tanks and eventually, and just be able to be underwater for a really, really long time. Cool, huh? Also, these will not refill until you actually put them on. Luckily, they refill pretty quickly. So now those are full. And I'm gonna go ahead and put that back. Cause I'm gonna normally keep my lightweight tank around. It's uh, much faster for moving and that kind of thing. Oh yeah, I'm setting up this area right here for building things. So I've got a fabricator and I've got a couple of lockers that I've crammed full of some of the stuff from my base. And we'll probably build more and more and more. And then over here, this locker has a single creature decoy in it because this tube has five creature decoys in it. All right, I think that's just about it, other than the fact that my cosmic prawn is all set up. Also, there's this interesting little bug. He is kind of shifted backward for some reason. It doesn't always happen. But if I go back up... Now you can see it's lined up perfectly. Isn't that weird? I'm not sure exactly when that happens, but we'll have to keep an eye out for that. Anyway. Let's go. Engines. Engines powering up. Powering up. So I think I want to go... Let's see. Let's go to Life Pod 12 first. I'll show you guys some cool tricks while we're going. I've learned a lot of stuff from both the comments and that friend of mine and I who are testing. We actually did some speed tests to find out what the fastest vehicle was, which was kind of interesting. It is the Sea Kitten, or the Sea Moth, as most people know it. I do love that you can actually, like... Oh! Ow! Hit something. Okay, okay. Hang on, I probably should be looking at the cameras. What? What am I hitting? Or is something attacking me? It's also possible. I think these guys are just running into me. Yeah, that's what's going on. Guys are fine, leave me alone. I do like this camera for view. Especially when we're close to the bottom. This one's fun, just because it's up top. Oh, somebody in the comments, this one specifically, said to use the horn when near these guys. responding to me or just was that pure coincidence <laughs> I think they are they're responding that's cool rig for silent running rig for silent running because I'm not entirely sure exactly how much I want to be attracting right now doesn't seem all that whoa there's a heat vent right there. <laughs> kind of took me by surprise. Now this is an area I have not been to before. Okay, there it is. That's Life Pod 12. Ooh. 
that's a big chunk of something. Wow, why is it all red in here? Is it because my internal lights are off or the depth or something? Well, according to this, we're not we haven't taken any damage, so that's good. Let's go take the uh, prawn out. See what's in here. Life pod twelve medical officer. New PDA data. Okay. Is this all there is? Okay. We'll take a look at that in a second. But first, let's gather a few things. I'll take some diamond and lithium. Nice. Anything else good around here? You know, this is gold. I honestly don't need any more gold. Ooh, rubies. Uranite. This is getting a little bit tight for for the prawn. I think I'm gonna hop out and grab my flashlight. I'm learning, guys. Carry a flashlight with you all the time. What is this little dude? He's a rock grub. Is that what it said? Can I grab him? can't grab him. Okay. Earthen coral tubes. Uh-oh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What was that? Am I hot? Hang on, let's see what we found. Earthen coral tubes. No practical applications discovered. Okay. And the rock grub is harmless. It's green luminescent. Okay, that's cool. Let's check this data download. I'm uh, not really a doctor. I know that's what my ID says, but I never have been. Cheated the medical exams. What does a doctor these days need to know about manually resetting bones? When was the last time a top surgeon actually cut someone open? That's what the robots are for. Doctors these days read diagnoses off of computer readouts. For that, I'm perfectly qualified. But what good is it when I'm not connected to the main network? I'm bleeding. I've got glowing green pustules growing on my hands. I run a self-scan and it tells me I've got skin irritation. The only thing I studied in medical school was how to lie convincingly. What the hell do I know about how to treat an alien disease? I think I'm actually going to die down here. Well, that's a problem. Because I think he had the same thing that I've got. And all most of the fish around here seem to have. I figure eventually I'm going to have a nuclear power thing, so I might as well get all this uranite. And I'm sure that's what it's for, is for fueling a nuclear power plant. No. Almost. Alright, well let's head back. I'm not sure I... I may have missed something in this cave, but... I'm sure you guys will let me know if I did. I'm going to start calling these ruby caves. There's so many rubies. Huh. I thought I was heading back, and I think I found myself into a new area. Alright, now how do I get out of here? Am I now going back the way I came, or... I have the slightest clue. I'm lost. Nice. Well, at least I won't uh, suffocate, but I might 
starve and dehydrate. We're just going to follow any cave that goes in the upward direction. Okay, never mind. I know my way out. Yay, the exit. Let's get back to the sun. I think I am definitely going to need some... Whoa! Hang on. No, that's not what I wanted. Fire this thing. Oh, it was that thing, but... Oh, thank you, decoy. We're going to get out of here. Oh, look at that. Okay, so that red one over there was the one that was attacking me. Interesting. I'm on 12% power? How the heck am I on 12% power? Oh, those things drain power from me, don't they? Well, crud. Okay, well, let's get away from them. Luckily, I drove, like, all the way here on 2% power or something, so I'm not too concerned. Oh, is that a... That's a new wreck. Ah, oh, jeez, really? Hang on. Fire another one. So there's something about... I'm not surprised, but there's something about... Um, like, moving. <laughs> that makes them very interested in us. So let's go ahead and turn on the internal lights again. Because I need to be able to see, and so do you. Let's see if we can go ahead and put in another power cell. Zero, 58%, zero. So we're gonna wanna head back and recharge. And I think yeah, all of these are empty, okay. So those things can drain our power. That's a little scary. We're gonna always keep one out for exactly that situation. got to be an entrance around here somewhere. You're going to come at me? Get out of here. Get out of here. Let's see what we got. See, this is where I want my other... of things. I don't have much time, though. should say potentially lots of things. Not really lots of things. Alright, I better get out of here before I suffocate. Thank you, I know. I'm afraid I missed something in there. So I think I'm gonna go again. Aha! A door I can open. <laughs> ah, there we go. Okay, I need to be I need to cut that open. Let's go get my laser cutter. Now where'd I keep my laser cutter? My laser cutter is on board the sea kitten. Darn it. It's okay, I think I can make another one here. Yeah, sulfur. I, do I have sulfur? I've got the diamonds and the battery. I'm just not sure if I have the sulfur. 
Nope. I do not have the sulfur. Darn it. Okay, well, let's actually, let me see. What does it take to make a beacon? Because I don't think I have a spare beacon laying around either. Um, bring laser cutter. All good. We'll come back later. Is that 70% of the cells I have? That must be what it is. And I started with six cells, so... Anyway, let's head back. Just kind of want to take a peek, you know? One creature attack. Of course there's a creature attack. Go! Alright. I'm gonna have to make a lot of those decoys. It's interesting, we haven't really had any power, or any uh, damage, but we've definitely lost some power to those guys. And yeah, maybe not this time. That's good. I bet you that's ruby. Oh, it's copper. Uh, I'm good with copper. Oh, jeez. Hello, sir. Good grief. Just stand right there in front of me, why don't you? Have I checked these things? Tree mushrooms? That's right. I grabbed, like, a spore sample or whatever fungal sample and it contains fungal enzymes but I don't know what to do with it yet I'm missing something I know I am but I can't figure out what it is oh he's right there hello Ooh, no don't zap me please ah is he after me what is he doing I'll tell you what I'm gonna go and redock with the sun. Yay! All right, let's keep going. That was kind of a bust. Let's go check that one out. I think this time I'm gonna bring my extra tank. Wait, I just saw... Could have sworn I just saw a pop-up for scanning. A chic plant pot. It's got a chic plant pot. Well, I'm so glad I got a chic one. Whatever would I have done if I had to continue using those lame ones... That was a very unexciting journey there. Ooh, that's leaking something black. Gross. Oh. A basic plant pod. Wow. Plant shelf? Interesting, interesting. A poster. Yes, please. Thirty seconds. Oh, so you think? But in reality, I have much more than thirty seconds. <laughs> oh, I need to bring another cutter. Can I open that? Don't think so. Is that a life pod I've seen before? This is life pod six. But I see, you know what? No, I see a data thing right there. So I'm doing this a little bit out of order, but that's okay. Let's grab this abandoned PDA. Take a peek inside here. New PDA data. There's another one. Integrating new PDA data. Ooh. Lead. Okay. Some flares. Don't think there's anything else here. Okay. Let's do Life Pod 6, Crew Log 1. Ma'am, I need you to stay calm. We're not in immediate danger. Where are the rescue teams? The Aurora didn't make it. So, where are the rescue teams? 
They're dead, ma'am. We have rendezvous coordinates, but the routes are radiated. So, what are you going to do? I'm head of human resources, ma'am. This is not my expertise. But the PDA says if we can find some lead, we can make radiation suits. Oh, there! I am not setting foot outside this life pod without the proper protection. Don't worry. I'll go. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Huh. <laughs> Whoops. I do love that it, it has like a proximity warning. So if you get too close to something, it starts screaming bloody murder. <laughs> it's like there's something too close. You don't really want to run into it, I promise. And engine powering down. Shutting down the engines. Let's go see. First of all, still no damage, which is great. Probably the most important thing I need to do right now is start charging power cells. Let's see. I should really keep my power cell charger over here. Like in this area. Yeah. But for now. It's over here. And it only charges two at a time. Maybe I need a second one. <laughs> I think I want my natural selection poster to be right here. Yeah. Perfect. All right, we're going to put a power cell charger right there. There we go. Now we have two of these. OK, we've got full power cells. Well, I mean, I've got one that's down at 95%, but other than that, full power cells. We've got, we've got four more in the locker. I even brought my ion battery on board. And I think other than that, we're in good shape all the way around. I even refilled the decoys. But those things, you can make three of them for two silver and some titanium. Because it needs a wiring kit. So, we want to keep our eyes out for silver. So, let's head back and see if we can open up that um, that door. I did grab myself a laser cutting torch. So, let's see. Bring laser cutter. That's the one. And there was something between here and there, too. Also needed a laser cutter. And now I don't remember where it was. Hey, this isn't the one, is it? Oh my goodness, this is actually the one. Ha! I thought I was going to totally miss it. Oh, that's funny. Didn't I open the store already? Did I accidentally close it behind me, or did it reset? a lot more sense for me to use these light sticks in the future. There's already something to... Are you kidding me? Oh, okay. I can't actually get out this way. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, modification station. We have that. Wow, lots of modification station bits. This must have been like nothing but modification station storage or something. Okay, I guess that's it. Yeah. So I've got plenty of titanium now, at least for a while. Let's head to the next spot. You know what? Now that we're out in open water... I want to try something. So, I had another comment suggesting that, emergency speed. that I try emergency speed because just to understand what to do when there's damage. 
which I think is a great idea. Warning, vessel calculated, excessive noise. So we're making a lot of noise, but this is a fairly safe area. And if we go too fast, Warning, engine. See, so the engine is going to start overheating and doing damage really soon. Don't want to go too far this way. Warning, engine may critical. We're going to find out pretty quick. Warning, engine may critical. Fire detected. Okay, so there's now a fire. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and standard. Engine shut this down. down. And we need to go figure out where this fire is. Let's grab a fire extinguisher. Yeah, that's a fire, all right. Oh, well, that wasn't too bad. And if, and if you let the fire go too long... Fire extinguished. Air scrubbers initiated. Okay. Hmm. Okay, I'll go ahead and put this back. And it looks like... Oh, it kind of healed itself. Because it was down a second ago. Anyway, so I guess we're okay. So now we understand what is involved. If that ever happens again, you know? Up. And most of the time, we're going to want to stick with uh, it's slow. probably slow, just to avoid, you know, bad things. And I think I've also learned, shut engine down the engine. Powering down. If we keep the engine shut down, we shouldn't get attacked as much. I'm also going to turn off the external floodlights. And yeah, let's go do this thing. Oh, I missed a modification station fragment here. Okay. You were probably all screaming at the screen, weren't you? There it is. 30 seconds. <laughs> Let's go ahead and swap that out. Alright, let's see. A nutrient block. Stasis rifle. Light stick. An abandoned PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Plop sonar upgrade. Acquired. Sweet. So let's see what this sonar upgrade takes. Three magnetite and a computer chip. Scans the train outside the Cyclops and displays it on a 3D map in the cockpit. Oh, that could be handy. Should we try it out? I think we'll try it out on our way home, because I think we're done out here. And I hate to say it, but we are very close to the end of this episode. As in... We're at the end of this episode. Uh-oh. We don't have enough magnetite. Well, darn it. I know where to get more, but we don't have it right now. I think there's even some back at the base. Oh, well. We are just going to have to figure that out in the next episode. So, let's head home. I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I certainly have. It's, I don't know, it's always fun. I, I just, I really enjoy Subnautica. I, I, it's just a really fun, fun game. I highly recommend it. And that's all. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop, you know, talking about how great this game is. But I will start talking about how you can hit that thumbs up button or you can subscribe. Um, I can also talk about how you can check out my Patreon page. Because why not? There's a link right down there in the description right next to the Discord information. Ooh.
getting dark. The sun is going... Is it just me or did the sun just pass behind that gigantic planet slash moon? I didn't know that happened. That is really cool. Okay, that's that's just really neat. I'm just I'm glad I got to see that. Okay. That's all I got for you. So I'll see you next time on Epic Tech. Self scan complete. Bacterial infection in your system is progressing, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. Well, that's not good.